arriving in the Burren on the southern side of Galway Bay, I am always struck by the overall dullness of the place. It's an area of grey limestone without fire or sparkle. In fact, it appears at a distance quite lifeless. So many of the thousands of visitors who come here drive through in search of greener places. And yet the burn, despite its greyness, deserves a closer look. It's a landscape composed of shattered slabs of ancient rocks. Here, 300 million years ago, there was a sea full of shelly creatures, large and small, which when they died, fell to the seabed to form these deposits. What we see today is that same seabed exposed to the elements, sun, wind, rain and ice. The Burren is a walker's paradise, and very soon after arriving here you see the reason why. It's a landscape which fascinates and inspires. The fantastic lunar shapes of the natural rocks are a contrast to the farmer's slanting patterns. Walls woven of slabs. The burn forms the northern corner of County Clare, a hundred square miles of naked rock lying in layer upon horizontal layer, crisscrossed with vertical joints, the result of nature's devastating forces. Here, the elemental force with most effect is water, running across the surface, dissolving the limestone, cutting runnels, exposing fossils of once living creatures that were alive a mere 300 million years ago. After the storms, this water finally gouges its way downwards into the bowels of the earth. Underground, the burn is honeycombed with twisting, turning, dipping tunnels. In the cave of the Yellow Cliff, Aylwi, it is safe to penetrate these intestinal pathways cut by the torrents of time long past. Here and there, the surface is pitted with the remains of petrified sea creatures. 
Where a stream breaks through, the water pours downwards, leaving behind a thick layer of sediment dissolved from the limestone. In Ailwee's Great Cascade, this moist calcite is still soft and prey to human destruction from small boys and television teams.